Hello and thanks for visiting the Velocity RC channel. I'm Pete and today we have the much anticipated Traxxas Drag Slash, the first no prep racer from Traxxas. Of course, the whole no prep scene started out with guys modifying their slashes for drag racing and now Traxxas has gone ahead and modified the slash themselves to be an out of the box, no prep drag racer. And this is a lot more than a body wheel and tire swap. They've done quite a few things to optimize the drag slash for drag racing. So let's go ahead and get the body off and we'll cover all that stuff right now. We'll talk just a little bit about the body before I get to the chassis stuff. Uh, you do have a fully molded grill, headlight buckets, and front bumper. Those look great. And the marker lights and the headlights are completely LED compatible, so definitely expect an LED light kit to come from Traxxas on that soon. Look inside there, you can see how you've got the uh, snap-in LED holders there. And some significant structure going on up front. Also in the back, you've got reinforcements for the injection molded bumper and that big rear wing. That's also a injection molded plastic part. Rear end is tubbed. You've got some uh, kind of tin work decaling in there. And not sure how it reads on video, but it is a really nice uh, metal flake in there. I think you can see it. But it's got a very fine flake, adds a nice sparkle. I'm sure this will look great in the sun but uh, Traxxas did a really nice job on the body. Windows are solid, those are not uh, smoked. That's a decal solid window in there. And here is the drag slash chassis. It is the uh, existing LCG chassis that Traxxas offers as an option for the two wheel drive slash. And this of course is what uh, no prep drag racers run who run slash based vehicles. The chassis is fine, there's no need to retool that. Traxxas could have done an all new chassis, which would have been more entertaining as far as check out the new release on Traxxas would go, but I'm not sure it would function any better or improve the car's capabilities as a drag racer. So why reinvent the wheel? This chassis works fine. That's why it's on there. And it is a drag slash. It's gonna be a slash and it's gonna have slash parts. Uh, likewise, you also have the familiar front shock tower. Rear shock tower is new. I'll move in closer on those for you. So that is the traditional front shock tower for a slash as well as Rustler Bandit Stampede, all those models that share components. The front bumper is all new. And if you look on the underside, you've got this additional skid plate component. That's a brand new part. The arms are the same as on the uh, Bandit. And you have the same turnbuckles that Traxxas uses on other models to set camber and tow in. Nice big flats, they're uh, four millimeter steel. They've got the, the uh, Traxxas rod ends, which are very chunky and robust. So a good strong front end on this car. Also new is the steering bell cranks. I'll take that apart so you can get a better look, but you can see how the bell crank captures the rod end on the top and the bottom. Body mounts are also new. I'm sure the, the post itself is an existing part, but that kind of low slung mount uh, that holds the post with a screw pin so it's adjustable, that's new for the slash and lets you get that body down nice and low. And here's your rear shock tower. Uh, chunkier than the older uh, traditional rear shock tower for bandit slash stampede wrestler etc. Uh, it's got the body posts integrated right into it as opposed to a separate part and it's just a little more thickly braced. Uh, it's got a nicer opening for the motor wires to pass through. The wheels and tires are new. These are Mickey Thompson replicas on black chrome wheels. You've got skinnies up front and a big set of fatties in the back. Uh, Traxxas, uh, since they spent a lot of time getting the tires right for the drag slash in terms of the compound, in terms of uh, the insert, which is a closed cell foam insert. Uh, wheels, uh, they look multi-piece, but they're actually one piece. You've got a black center and a black simulated beadlock ring. And then the shiny parts are black chrome. Uh, you've got nice lug nut detailing in there that works well with the functioning uh, seven millimeter wheel nut with the screened on Mickey Thompson logo, but a really good looking rubber on this car. I think that's a, a good looking model. I like those wheels and tires quite a bit. You've got the traditional uh, watertight receiver box with a uh, rubber plug, and we'll talk more about that later. That's where you're gonna access the receiver to put the car into drag mode, which does have a blinky mode, and I'll show you that. Speed control is the Felineon VXL3S, very well proven. 
And you've got the Volenion 3500 four pole motor. This is the new Magnum 272R transmission, which gets the extreme duty drive shafts as used by the Haas and the uh, 4x4 models. Wheelie bar is new. This has got, I think it's five positions. Yes, five positions to choose from on there. It just pivots at the bottom and then you've got your positions up top. And Traxxas also gives you additional wheels. These are the large diameter wheels. There's also a smaller diameter wheel. I'll show you more of that in a few moments, but that will give you more uh, height adjustments for the wheelie bar by changing the wheelie bar wheel diameter. Take a look at the underside. Again, this is the standard Traxxas LCG chassis for the two-wheel drive slash. And interestingly, the uh, rear suspension arms are also bandit length. Those are not Russell or Stampede or slash length. Those come from the bandit. All right, I'm gonna bust out the wrenches. We'll take some stuff apart. We'll get a look at that transmission. We'll also talk about how the drag racing mode works and the trans brake feature of the car, which is new. That's incorporated into the transmitter. You get a TQI, but you don't have a rocker switch. This is a click switch. And we'll talk about what that does in just a moment. All right, here is the Magnum 272R transmission. This is a completely new transmission. It might reuse the idler gear, I think, but for the most part, completely new. Uh, certainly plenty new enough uh, to be considered completely new for me. Uh, transmission that for the drag slash um, if you look in the parts list for the drag slash, it does indicate that this will be offered as a complete component, not with a motor, of course, but you'll be able to buy this transmission to install in your uh, slash, your bandit stampede, etc. Uh, any model that takes the older Magnum 272 transmission can accept the Magnum 272R. Big feature, of course, on this one, in addition to the new transmission case, is the aluminum motor plate. I'll take the gear cover off so you get a closer look. Uh, here's also a better look at the drive shafts, which are the extreme duty drive shafts. No, not sealed drive shafts, but uh, these are used on the Haas 4x4. Uh, they're very robust. I don't think you're gonna have any problems run, running the drag slash with uh, these drive shafts on there. You can also see how the uh, arm mounts are extra beefy, the way they sweep up into the transmission case. I think this is a pretty rugged looking gearbox. I think that's gonna do a good job. But let me get this gear cover off. All right, so you've got a uh, torque control slipper clutch, the three pad design that we've seen before. And you can also see how there is an insert that goes into that motor plate and that will fix the gear mesh. Not fix it as a repair, it sets it, it, it makes it uh, immobile. Uh, so if there's a crash or an impact, you're not gonna have that motor shift. And it just makes it easier to set gear mesh because you don't have to set it. With that insert, you just put the motor mounting screws in there, tighten everything down, and your gear mesh is set properly. And your stock gearing here is a, a 2276. Uh, Traxxas also gives you a speed gearing setup. That is a 29 tooth pinion. And then they give you a additional uh, pinion or an additional uh, gear mesh setting plate to put in there. So we'll set the gear mesh properly for that pinion. So Traxxas has you covered with a speed gearing setup I expect the out-of-the-box gearing is gonna be better for drag racing. Uh, get you out of the hole quicker, but you know we'll see. And you can, of course, put other gear ratios in there, uh, not just the ones that come with the vehicle. You can take out that mesh setting insert and just have complete uh, uh, infinite adjustability with open slots there to run any kind of pinion and spur gear combo that you want. You can also see this structure that holds the wheelie bar is very robust. It doesn't rely on you know slotting over the rear of the chassis like the older design. So that's gonna be nice and strong. You've also got a, a dropout a trap door here for the differential. And you have a brand new differential in this transmission. It's a sealed bevel gear setup. And we'll go ahead and take a look at that right now. And now these trap door screws will come out. And now you just push on the uh, outputs there and that will push the differential right out. Oops, there goes my trap door. And your differential is now out. That's a steel gear on the composite 
differential housing. You've got four screws clamping it shut. Uh, you've got, uh, I'm not sure they're X rings or I go O rings, but you've got seals, of course, uh, where the outputs come out, and you've got a gasket between the uh, case halves. And an interesting detail on this is that the bearing does not sit directly on the output. Instead, the bearing sits on a boss that's molded into the differential case, which is a small detail, but uh, it gives you a uh, more rigidly uh, held differential, so there's less wobble there. And the bearing does not have to deal with the spinning of the outputs as well as the spinning of the differential. That's just a, a better way to do it. And I will tell you that I actually degreased this a little bit before I did the video. Uh, so it won't be quite as messy, but Craxis fully lubes the gears. No worries there. And you can see the top shaft gear in there. And I'll just use the Traxxas render to show you that. But the top shaft uh, and the top gear uh, are integrated, uh, not literally as one piece, but effectively as one piece. The gear has flats on it and it's pushed over the shaft. There's no cross pin. Uh, there's no weak point there with a slot in the top shaft gear. Getting the transmission out of the car and the differential out of the transmission is really, really easy and fast. And this is a, a really great part. I think it's a great addition to the model. And while the rear tires are off, I thought it'd be a good time to take a closer look at this wheel and tire setup, which is really a, a highlight of the drag slash. It's just a, a great looking uh, wheel and tire, I think. And uh, the wheel especially, I think, is impressive in that it's one piece. You can see it's got the Weld Racing logo on there. I didn't notice that at first since it's black on black. But the textures are really nice. It's a matte finish on the center and the uh, beadlock ring there. And then you've got the black chrome for the you know, deep dish part and the lug nut detailing. It's a dual diameter design, like a short quartz wheel. Standard 12 millimeter hex. You can see how the ribs extend deeply across the uh, rim for some extra rigidity, but you also want some flex in there. Before I put the rear end together, we can also take a closer look at this uh, shock tower. New part for the drag slash. Ultra shocks, of course, are not new, uh, but the springs are a different rate, what you're going to find on a slash. Uh, oil viscosity is also different, I think. Traxxas has done some tuning to make uh, the suspension drag racing optimized. It's not just a direct lift from the slash. And here you can see your rear arms, according to the parts list, same part number as the Bandit rear arms. And this is also an off the shelf uh, rear axle carrier. Again, Traxxas certainly could have tooled up new parts for those that would have been more entertaining to see brand new arms. Uh, that doesn't mean they would have worked any better. Certainly would have added cost to the model. So uh, I get why Traxxas didn't do that. It's also great for dealers. They don't have a lot of new parts to uh, add to their inventories. And it's great for anyone who's currently racing a slash-based uh, vehicle because uh, that means you've got more compatibility, more stuff that they've already got that they can put to work uh, in their drag racing program with a slash-based vehicle. So while it's fun to see brand new parts, I think uh, the more parts you can reuse, when well, it's not gonna affect performance, when there's no need to have new parts on there, that's gonna be a win for hobbyists and for dealers alike. And although this is not an inexpensive kit, uh, it could be more expensive, and certainly tooling up more new parts unnecessarily would have added to that cost. We'll talk a little bit more about this wheelie bar now. Uh, as I mentioned before, you do have two separate wheelie bar wheel sets that you can put on here. Comes out of the box with the larger wheels on it, or at least my drag slash did. And you've also got these smaller diameter wheels that you can install, which will give you different height options by changing the diameter of the wheelie bar wheels. So you've got five height options on the bar itself, and then you can swap out these wheels if you wanna get a different height by a few millimeters by swapping out the wheel diameter. And after some disassembly, we have the front clip out so you can get a look at that four x four style servo saver that they've installed. You can see that it captures the inner rod ends on the top and the bottom. So those can't pop off and it's a stronger design. Uh, I think on a slash two wheel drive, they aren't nutted so they're still not gonna pop off but you've just got uh, a lower attachment point and that's a weak link. Uh, this is a much more robust design as used on the four x four models. Servo saver is integrated. You can see the spring there 
you do not have the servo saver on the servo itself any longer, which is also a uh, failure point. Uh, the servo saver could pop apart. Now you've just got a solid uh, servo horn, so this is a much more robust design. You've got the 2075 125 ounce inch servo. This is the plastic gear version. You can also get it with uh, metal gears. And of course, uh, it's waterproof, as is the speed control. Receiver itself not waterproof, but it's in a waterproof enclosure. As I'm sure you're familiar with if you're a Traxxas guy, you've got other Traxxas models, that's how they do it. So if you want to drag race in the rain, you can do that with your drag slash. All right, let's talk about the drag slash's drag race mode. Uh, right now you can see the LED on the receiver is green, which means that TSM or Traxxas Stability Management is on. That is the factory setting. You have electronic stability assistance, so it makes the drag slash very easy to drive straight at full power. And you can dial the amount of assistance you get up and down or even completely off at the transmitter via the multifunction knob. Now for drag racing, you know, officially sanctioned with rules and everything, uh, they're probably not going to allow you to have TSM turned on. And because people cheat, they're not gonna trust everyone to just turn off TSM at the transmitter. So Traxxas has drag race mode built into the receiver and that will turn off TSM at the receiver so it cannot be reactivated at the transmitter, which means you should be able to race the drag slash without changing your receiver, as long as uh, the different uh, drag racing outfits change their rules, as I think they should. Most will today tell you they need to take out a TSM equipped or any uh, electronic stability assist equipped receiver. But with drag race mode, you can turn off that functionality on the throttle side in drag race mode. It keeps TSM on the brake side so that you can make a nice controlled stop after your race. But from the uh, start line to the finish line, there is no TSM in drag mode. So you have a completely uh, unassisted car. It's all about the driver when you are in drag race mode. And to put the car in drag race mode, you just access the receiver via this plug but because uh, it's hard to see in there, I've gone ahead and taken off the receiver cover. And to put the car in drag race mode, all you have to do is press the link button until the LED turns red, and then you let go. Then it will blink green, and that means that you are in drag race mode. And of course, for tech, with the cover on through the light pipe, you can see it's blinking. Uh, you have your race, the guy in the opposite lane with his drag slash seemed to go way too straight, way too easy. You think you had TSM on? Just peek under the body and you're gonna see a blinking LED or not, if he cheated. Uh, blinking LED means he did not have TSM to get down the strip, so no harm done. And uh, hopefully the drag racing uh, outfits and local clubs, etc., will just let you use drag race mode. It really does not make sense to tell people they have to change their receiver when you've got this functionality built in. And yes, uh, I guess someone could you know, pop out the plug and take the car in and out of drag race mode, but uh, you're gonna have to get under the body and pull out the plug and get a driver in there to press the button. Uh, I would think that you're gonna know pretty quickly or suspect pretty quickly uh, whether or not someone had TSM on during your race. And if you watch them collect the car, you're gonna notice if they take the body off and start monkeying with the uh, receiver. So that's how drag race mode works, uh, very simple. I think that's a great feature to have built into this model. Let's talk transmitter. The drag slash includes the Traxxas TQI, a familiar site for any Traxxas fan. This one appears to have the red rocker switch, but it's not actually the rocker switch. This is a click switch that works with the drag slash's trans brake function, which we'll talk about soon. You've got uh, two knobs. Your steering trim is always and only your steering trim, no matter how else you adjust the radio. So that's always easy to access steering trim. And you've got the multi-function knob, which with the drag slash is set for your TSM, uh, Traxxas Stability Management. So you can turn that up or down as you drive. If you turn it fully counterclockwise, you'll have no TSM control. And if you want to lock out TSM at the receiver, you can do that with the drag race mode. Now you can also assign this to other functions. You can navigate a uh, LED blinking menu uh, to do that without using the Traxxas Link app or much better option. You can install the Traxxas Link wireless module. It goes right in here. And then you can use your uh, iOS or Android device as the display and the operating system for your transmitter. Use the Traxxas Link app and assign that multi-function knob to steering sensitivity or throttle sensitivity or uh, other functions uh, just by you know touching different icons. And you can also adjust the other features of the radio, like you with a computer radio, all via your phone or your tablet. 
And I'm a fan of the uh, TQI. It's a nice, simple radio. When all you want is a wheel and trigger, it's just a wheel and trigger. Uh, but you've got that Traxxas Link capability that will give you all the functions that you really need for racing, uh, for really dialing in a model. Uh, they're all there if you want them. And if you don't, they're not in the way. You don't have to navigate different menus. I want to make sure I didn't forget anything. So let's take another look at the drag slash from front to back. You've got new wheels and tires front and rear, uh, replica Mickey Thompson skinnies up front and drag slicks in the back. Foam bumper is new, the upper support and the lower skid plate slash support on the bottom are new parts as well. You have new body mounts. Uh, the ultra shocks are tuned for the drag slash. You've got uh, double bump stops on those front shocks. Front arms are banded length. You've got four millimeter steel turnbuckles for camber and tow-in. 2075, 125 ounce inch steering servo, waterproof. And you've got the uh, four x four style bell cranks in there that will capture the steering links top and bottom. LCG chassis, uh, VXL 3S speed control. Sensorless 3500 kV motor. Uh, this uh, speed control will have sport, training, and uh, race modes. Training mode will cut speed and power by half. Sport mode is full forward reverse throttle control uh, with brake. And then race mode is gonna be forward brake only. Uh, you've got bullet connectors to connect to the motor. I really like that uh, little hold down they have for the wire, so that needs things up. Here is your new rear shock tower. That's the Magnum 272R transmission. Uh, five position wheelie bar. The drive shafts are the extreme duty telescoping dual universal joint shafts as used on the Haas 4x4. Four millimeter steel turnbuckles in the rear as well. Ultra shocks in the back. Uh, spring rates and oil viscosity are tuned for the drag slash. One piece wheels that look like three piece wheels. Drag slicks, of course, brand new for the drag slash. Mickey Thompson replicas with the logo on there. And these would be uh, TSM rated with the ultra premium tire glue on there. The diff oil, uh, very high viscosity. The diff uh, has very stiff action. You can tune that, of course. You can put in lighter weight oil if you wish, but out of the box, very stiff tuned for drag racing. There's your Valion motor. You can see the motor plate and the new transmission housing on the Magnum 272R transmission. Watertight receiver box. You can access the receiver via that rubber plug. You don't need to open the box up to change receiver settings. And you've got this light pipe that will light up to show you what the receiver is doing. Right now it's green. That means that uh, TSM is on and it's getting a signal from the receiver. Uh, if you're not familiar with Traxxas speed controls, there is no on off switch you know, uh, located on a lead somewhere on the model. It just has a button here that you touch to turn the model on, you touch to turn it off. And uh, this LED here, uh, green means that it is in the low voltage detection mode for LiPos. Uh, the car does not include a battery. I've put a LiPo battery in there just so you could see it fully loaded and ready to go. Uh, if the LED on the speed control is red, that means you've got the low voltage detection turned off, which is what you would want for a running a nickel metal hydride battery. Battery hold down is uh, body clip style. Uh, it does have the flip feature. It's 25 millimeter on this side. You can pull this out and turn it around to the 23 millimeter setting. And you can see how it's stepped in the back and that will change the height of the strap to accommodate lower profile and taller profile batteries. LCD chassis, you can see how it's dropped down low like that. And uh, that is the Traxxas drag slash. I think the body looks terrific. I think Traxxas has done a good job of massaging the Chevy C10's proportions to fit the drag slash chassis. No prep, drag races aren't really uh, proportioned very well in terms of scale to be realistic looking. Uh, but Traxxas has done a good job with this one. The blue paint is really nice. You can also get it in black, white, purple, green, and red. I think the red looks great. Uh, all the colors look good. Uh, it just depends what your, your taste is. Uh, and hopefully you'll see it better in the sun, but there's a really nice metal flake to the paint. Lots of nice molded detailing in the grill and bumper. 
the lights uh, in amber and clear for the headlights. Those are all LED compatible. I'm sure there'll be a pro scale LED set for this. And it's a great looking model. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun to drive, which we're gonna do right now. We'll get that battery charged up. We'll go outside, we'll talk about the trans brake and how that works. Uh, we'll fiddle around with drag race mode and TSM. And we'll just see what this truck can do. Thank you.